I don't know really how to explain it, but I'm like a spiritual, faithful Christian. I don't know what you want to call me. I don't really have um, a specific term for myself, but I'm a very um, faithful person. And this last month, I can tell you right now, I have really lost my sight in that. I've lost my, I've lost a lot of my faith and um, not in God, just, just in myself, like knowing that everything is going to be okay and knowing that I'm not alone. Um, you know, spiritually, I'm not alone. I always feel like God is right there. And sometimes I just forget that. And if you're a Christian and, or you practice whatever, if you're a spiritual person in general, you know, just know that you're not alone. And for me, I believe that God's always there and I have to remind myself and I have special people in my life that remind me of that on a daily basis. And I'm very thankful for those people, you know, who you are. And I just, you know, I just look to be like, you know what, I don't want all this anxiety. I don't want all this like frustration. I just want it to go away. And for me, it helps for me. I pray a lot. When I'm anxious, I pray it away. When I talk about meditation, I do meditate, but I, pr- I, I do it in prayer. So that's how I do my meditation. But I feel like when you lose sight of your faith, that's when your freaking world just crumbles. And my world is not crumbling. Um, it felt like that for about two weeks. Uh, I think it was just one thing after the other that was happening in my life. And that's okay. And I was probably having a pity party. And you know what? Sometimes we have those. And then we pull ourselves up and we put our big girl pants on, big boy pants on. And we're like, we're going to go deal with life. We're going to go deal with this crappy season of life. But you know what? There's good seasons coming. And I just wanted to be completely transparent and honest with you guys about what I've been dealing with the past um you know, few weeks, because I feel like, I feel like, like I've said from the very beginning, I'm talking to friends. I'm talking to people that take time out of their day every week and listen to me talk. And the fact that you guys do that, like, you don't even understand how much appreciation I have for you just to listen to what I have to say, like that even you even care what I have to say. And so I want to be completely honest and transparent with you guys because I feel like there's people out there that are dealing with the same crap. You know, I, I feel like there's people that, that your life is just going like great and everything's perfect or maybe not perfect, but close to perfect. Your side, you know, you're kind of perfect. And then boom, a freaking bomb goes off. And then boom, another bomb goes off and just one after the other and just crap keeps happening. And then you just feel like giving up. Like why even try? Why do I even try to be better at this? Why do I even try to be, you know, happy when all this shit is happening? And you know why you try? Because it makes a difference. When you have one positive or happy thing in your life, it could be your dog. It could be your morning routine. It could be, obviously, if you have children or your husband or your wife, whoever it is, it could be as small as their smile in the morning. It could be as small as your coffee, if you're a coffee lover like me, a cup of perfect coffee in the morning. I mean, you have to have something in your life that makes you smile. There has to be at least one thing in your life that makes you smile. And if it does, and if you do, just take that and focus on it. And no matter how little or how big it is, it will make a huge difference in your day. And you're going to go through good and bad times. That's life. Up, ups and downs and all arounds and, you know, just big holes and small holes. And, you know, just you're going to have to overcome a lot of things. But just know that you have that strength. You just have to dig deep for it. And if you are an anxious mess like me, I just want to talk to you for a second and just remind you that you are are not God. You are not the leader of the universe. You are just a person and you're human and it's okay to lose control. It's okay to feel like 
your life is out of control and let it go. Let it go and let it be. And just nothing you do or say or feel is going to change what's going to happen. You can't predict the future. You can't change the past. So don't dwell on it. And this is something that I have to remind myself of all the time. And instead of just like being like, you know what, my kids were sick, they're okay now. And I, yes, I had to cancel all these trips and it sucked. And, you know, all this stuff that I had planned, it didn't work out. But, you know, it's life. It happens. I didn't do that. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do to fix it? Why am I going to try to fix it? I can't fix anything. I'm I'm not magical. I can't go back and, and you know, three weeks ago and fix a whole bunch of stuff. I can't. I can't take away sickness. I can't, I'm not God. And I have to remind myself, even though I am important, I'm important to my kids. I'm important to my husband, to my friends, to my family. I am not that important where I can just change the world. There are things you can do to change the world. I do, I do believe that, but I'm talking in general, like I can't go and change the past. I can't go and change the fact that my kids got sick. I can't go and change the fact that, you know, my grandpa's sick. I can't go and change any of that stuff. So all I can do is move forward. All I can do is feel this overwhelming, you know, I don't know, sadness or frustration or whatever. And I just have to deal with it. I just have to get through it. And that's the thing we have to do, guys. We have to learn how to get through it. If we don't know how to get through it, how are we going to deal with the next crappy event that's going to happen? Because it's going to happen. You can't think, you know, even though I would love to feel like life is all about sunshine and rainbows and unicorns, it just doesn't work that way. But it's okay. That's why we deal with the crap that we deal with to learn how to enjoy the happiness and then deal with whatever's coming our way. And I know it's hard when you have anxiety, guys. I know you think the worst possible case scenario, you go to the worst place in your head and I go there too. But I'm going to tell you, if you have not tried any of my little tips and tricks, at least try one. At least try to sit down with yourself. And if you pray, you you can pray. That's what I do when I meditate. Or if you don't, you just sit there and you just go to your happy place. And that's what I do. I, I pray and I go to my happy place. My happy place is the beach with waves. And just it's just the most calming place. It's the, my happy place. So that's where I go. But close your eyes and just sit and listen to your breathing and breathe in deep and breathe out real just breathe everything out of your chest and do that for five minutes and remind yourself I am not in control of the world I am only in control of myself and my emotions I am only in control of myself and my love I am only in control of myself and my feelings. And that's all you can control, guys. That's all you can control. I have to remind myself of this pretty much daily. So it's a good start. I really feel like it'll benefit you if you have anxiety and you've never tried this before. Um... It just helps clear your mind. It just helps you calm down. It helps you connect with your breath. And breath work is huge. It helps your whole body function so much better. And there is a lot of research, um, you know, scientific research that you can actually look up that has to do with your breath work and your, um, your, your anxiety and calming your body and your nervous system and all that. So, um. It's just science, guys. So, I mean, if you try it and it works, reach out to me and I would love to hear if, you know, any of this that I talked about today helped you at all. Me being honest in an open book like I always am. I'm trying to be as, you know, truthful and as authentic as I can with you guys. And 
I really appreciate you guys every single time that you listen, every time that you share something. I just want you to know I have so much love for you. And I would love to maybe virtually meet some of you guys like over messages or anything like that. So if you're interested in just letting me know how this has helped you or anything like that, any of my episodes, this is episode 20. So if you've listened to even half of them, if even one has helped you, I would love, love, love to hear about it. And I'd love to hear about your um, journey with this. So if you guys want to come follow me on Instagram, uh, my Instagram is creating your happy podcast or Bali Ash by Teresa. You can follow me on TikTok at girl happy looks good on you and also Facebook Teresa Tapia. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, again, my consistency I'm hoping will get better because I am starting to feel myself again and I will talk to you guys on another Monday. Have a wonderful week guys.